You know, um, I will say, you know, and Butch brings this up a lot, you know, we are prepared anyway, one way or the other. And we, we of course, planned on being a short flight and a test flight. If test flight's going to lead to some new discovery, so we had an idea that it might be a little bit longer than as advertised, but this was a little bit more longer than that. But just in the, in the lead up to our flight, we wanted to make sure we were prepared to live here on the space station, brought all of our spacewalking equipment with us, made sure that we were ready to go for robotics, made sure we had all of the station systems under our belt and ready to go. So preparedness and commitment, I think, are the, are the you know, two um, mainstays of our, our time up here, things that, you know, we had to get used to. You know, as the summer progressed and we understood more and more about the, you know, the difficulty of the decision whether or not we would or would not come home on Starliner, I think your mind sort of shifts, right? It's sort of like a deployment where you're, where you think you're going to come home and something happens in the world and you, you know, your ship takes a right turn rather than a left turn to, to head back home. Um, you just have to have that mind shift and, and understand that, hey, you know, with the skills that I have, I prepared as best as I could. Uh, I'm ready to ask questions, ready to learn some more, and then I can take on on uh, this new role as a long duration crew member here on the International Space Station and it was an honor to become the you know the station commander I'd been up here before um, but in, then you know integrating our crew which I had not really worked with before has been really a joy and a pleasure to be working with all these people and I think really it's the people that that make it the most important and make, make it the best.